Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a great Monday. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, just wanted to share, uh, just take a couple minutes to share a little bit of what's on my heart. Um, it's Monday, and so I wanted to give Motivational Monday, but uh, I wanted to talk about fear. I know that in these times, there's been a lot of fear that has kind of been sprung up in, in a lot of us. Um, so I wanted to t talk about that and ask the question, how do we respond to fear? Um, so I have a story. A couple nights ago, I woke up. I was awoken in the middle of the night by my wife who said, I heard something. Um, there was some moving, some steps. I, I think someone's in the house. So fear woke her up and then fear woke me up. And I'm telling you, I got down, went down the stairs and every step that I took, it's like my my senses were heightened. I can see better. I had these supernatural hearing and seeing. I can see in, in the dark. I could hear a mile away, right? It's The fear had kind of sprung this up. And I want to uh, to use that as a point because fear can either cripple you or fear can um, empower you. And I really do believe that fear, um, when you don't let it overcome or overpower you, it is a good thing. For that, for me, uh, for example, it heightened my awareness. I was able to know and be, be able to, to uh, in a way, defend my home and defend my family. Now, there was nothing that was happening. Uh, it must have been some weird creaking, uh, whatever it was, but no one had broken in. But I wonder what would have happened if I would have let fear cripple me. So I want to ask you, um, has fear been crippling you? Have you allowed fear to, to stop you in your tracks or are you using fear to push you into learning or doing something new and different. I have a quote that says this, the, the negative side of fear is when it holds you back from, is is that when you, when you let it hold you back from doing something, it can keep you from learning something new. Um, so here are some types of fear that uh, you might be experiencing. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of change, fear of public speaking, fear of losing, fear of the unknown, or uh, here's the most sort of popular fear, the fear of success. So uh, if you have too much fear, it's like trying to fly a plane and you bring all this excess baggage. Well, the truth is you might have to jump uh, to dump some of that baggage or you might have to pay a pretty hefty price to check it in. And that's what fear does when you allow fear to take a hold on your heart and to take a hold on your life. You're either going to have to dump some out or you're going to have to pay a big price for it. And I really do hope and pray that we're not paying the price, that we that we get to the place um, from this point and, and we self-reflect and we say, what am I afraid of? Where, well, what are some of the fears that have been sprung up and what do I have to get rid of? What do I have to dump? And what do I have to let um, to act, let propel me? Um, I really do believe that when you when you allow fear to encourage you and to inspire you, I think you'll learn something new about yourself, but you'll learn something new about your community and about the things around you. So don't let fear cripple you. Instead, use it to propel you to learn something new. I love you, and we'll see you next week.